What's going on guys? Your buddy Rafi at Rafi614 today with uh, my first or the first episode of the RC crawler hobby I got into. Um, my buddy uh, Johnny uh, surprised me by ordering the uh, this RC crawler. It is an actual uh, one of the cheaper end uh, Chinese version of the RC crawlers. Um, and I'm gonna do somewhat uh, of an unboxing kind of review of it. I've seen tons and tons of uh, videos. It's the uh, WPL, I believe it is, uh, brand. Uh, it's a 116 scale, it's a little Toyota Helix. And uh, I'm gonna be unboxing and uh, checking it out and taking it for a spin now because I've never had an RC crawler before uh, this is somewhat of a starter uh, RC and uh, there's tons of upgrades and things you could do to it so I said you know what might as well do a video and you'll see uh, from now on videos as I go upgrading and doing stuff to it and of course I'm gonna be painting the body and doing so whole bunch of stuff and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this let's get into it I can't wait to uh, put it together and take it for a spin let's do it all right guys so here we are with the box uh, I decided to come inside the house uh, I had to go out for a bit do some uh, last minute shopping with mrs. Raffi so uh, a little late it's kind of chilly outside so I'll just bring it inside the house up you know have better lighting but anyways this is the WPL um, RC crawler it's a it comes in five different models um, right here my buddy Johnny let me borrow his that is one of the models which you can see here in the picture it actually comes with the, the cap in the back he uh, totally forgot to bring it uh, the one there was, this was a gift from my buddy uh, Johnny this is the actual one we'll be building that's the one he got me um, uh, I really like the other models the military truck on that side as well as this one all of them look nice like I said this is pretty much a beginners this is this would be good for beginners all although I've seen uh, online and on YouTube uh, a lot of uh, RC enthusiasts that actually have uh, chosen the uh, the truck this truck the helix the this WPL um, there are uh, they are for uh, four-wheel drive and um, I started doing this banner for my buddy a little sticker I'm actually practicing I'm doing water slide decals uh, but yeah pretty much uh, we're gonna open this up um, to show you guys you're not building the whole thing it pretty much comes pre-assembled although there's a few uh, things that uh, they you know a few of the accessories that uh, need to be attached and assembled uh, for the most part it does come assembled um, and uh, honestly from the price you can't go wrong these are some of the accessories which we we're gonna find out now get this stuff out of the way and this is pretty much the way it comes from package just open it up this little toolbox right here is actually where you would actually insert the battery um, thing has pretty much full you know working suspension on this one, I noticed that one of these links was snapped and it goes to right there. Um, I'll be able to JB weld or do that. Although this vehicle is pretty much fully, uh, you can customize it. Um, you could change all the links. Uh, they actually sell the uh, the uh, drive shafts. You could, these are plastic. They sell them in metal as well as the differential axles ball joints sway bar links all that stuff it's actually uh they sell aftermarket metal stuff which my my goal of course when i whenever i can afford it i'm gonna start buying little parts pretty much upgrade the whole drivetrain um upgrade the the, the motor uh, as well as all the stuff like i said i'm this is new to me i'm, I'm gonna be uh learning along as i buy stuff and and um any of you guys that uh, might watch the video and already are into this stuff. Any info um, 
it would be greatly appreciated. Although the gentleman that got me into this, these RCs, um, he actually built, he has upgraded a few of his and he said that he would be more than glad to actually help me out. See the little scratches here, it's plastic. Uh, everything is plastic except for the actual, the actual base right here. That's metal, the rest is plastic. And um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna learn about this stuff as I go. Of course, uh, I like that red paint, but I really wanna go uh, a bit further. If you guys saw my last video, I did a, la a slideshow at the end of the video showing you some of my custom Hot Wheels. And I um, already have a, picked up a paint uh, for this. And I'm gonna be painting the rims and doing a couple of details but anyway let's get to all this stuff right here it does come with a set of stickers or decals not sure if i'm going to use them because literally i could make my own but, uh, let's see I'm gonna get right to it all right so what do we have here so we got the mirrors now me i really want to customize this to where it looks semi pretty much real so I don't think I'm going to put those on now because I'm most likely I'm going to paint it. Uh, we have three sets of wiper arms. So now I know that it comes with extra parts as well as extra door handles. Um, this is the running boards. It's plastic. I'm going to see if I can find some aftermarket ones in metal. Um, okay, so we have the light bar. This goes... I'm assuming right on this bracket. Um, and I have seen that they actually sell aftermarket LED lights. You can actually insert them here and it'll be fully functional light bar. Uh, I will most likely not put this on until I actually order those whenever I can. Everything little by little. Oh, comes with a screwdriver, extra screws. And if I'm not mistaken, it's this. The actual piece that just broke off uh, no this is for the front end it'd be very nice if the actual it came with an extra length that I need for the oh let me keep my fingers crossed is this one of these no this is one of these the one that actually broke off I wish it would have brought a spare but then again all of these come in metal these are plastic, meaning you could order these I'm uh, uh, made out of metal. So I'm gonna be upgrading all these because if I'm gonna be going off-road with this thing, I want it to be sturdy and durable. Um, some of the uh, reviews I've seen is the uh, how sort of you hear all that rattling around. And what I've for what I've seen, one of the vid videos I saw, all these little screws right here, they have a plate, they still have somewhat of a slack on them and they're completely tightened so I saw a gentleman he actually went through the whole body of the actual RC and he added um, I don't know if you can see uh, right here you see that that play some of these should have play but I know what he did is he bought um, he added uh, very tiny washers to every single screw out there right here you can see that gap right there. And um, I know that he noticed that on the shocks, they move too much. It's the same thing right about right about there. That's where the shock is. And by him just uh, adding those washers to where the screws go, it made the truck a little sturdier. I mean, at the end, this is roughly about $30, $36 uh, RC. I'm gonna leave a uh, two links in the description below you can either get them at ebay or amazon and they range in about depending i guess on the seller between 20 i think i saw them for 28 and like 38 dollars if you're a prime member you know you'll be eligible for some of them will be eligible for free shipping and uh, ebay some of them have free shipping already or the shipping is very very inexpensive so yeah, that is, this is my truck. I like the fact that it has a little extra spare. It's a platform. Um, and then the front end, I like the square headlights. 
compared, if you wanted to compare it to my buddy's when it has the older style red, uh, round headlights. Um, I did charge the battery uh, beforehand, so I'm gonna plug in the battery and I should have some batteries for this, I believe it takes trip away, we're about to find out. Uh, trip away batteries or double batteries, but either or, I have them. But this is my buddy's uh, Helix, it's pretty much the same truck, with the difference that this one actually comes with the bed. I actually have the one or the platform. So, it's pretty much the same truck, same body and everything. Um, he has all the accessories, like, comes with the... Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, it comes with the snorkel, snorkel and everything. For the most part, the car comes built. Um, so I am gonna actually go ahead and put most of these accessories on. And uh, I wish I could go outside and take it for a spin, but um, it's too dark and kind of chilly outside. Although I am about to put, install the battery real quick and check out if at least it moves and stuff. So give me a second and uh, we'll find out. All right, so we're back. I actually found out that it actually takes two AA batteries. This thing actually just lights up. Put a screw right in here. Use the screwdriver that actually came with it. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Blooper. blinking all right and of course I already have the battery like I said charged if I can reach it all right so this is the battery it comes with uh, it's already I charged it according uh, to the instructions you let it charge for about two hours I feel like I don't I don't know how how much uh, how long this battery will last but definitely uh, I'd like to maybe find out if I could actually buy a better battery pack although I want to be upgrading the motor and all that stuff so I'm assuming I'll be able to I'll be uh, getting rid of this and upgrading as well grab the car the little toolbox just flips up and that's where the battery goes um, let me put it down so of course I can use both hands make sure the positive and positive although it has this little prong right there and it only falls or clicks in it's one way one way kind of deal all right let's see if we can tuck this wire here and it fits in here i don't want to yeah there we go clicks nice and neat um uh on and off button turned it on lights are blinking as you guys can see take this out of the way um now i'll turn this on and it's already synced now, one thing I'm noticing is that the lights look yellowish, which looks cool. So I'm not complaining because of that old school kind of feel to it. But me, when it comes to LEDs, I like that crispy, bright white uh, lights. And oh, I just noticed that mine comes with a different bumper. My buddy actually had mentioned that to me. Now I know what he's talking about. Um, I like this bumper, but I definitely like that one. Um, this one actually, they sell one in metal, all metal for actually for this. So I told my buddy that once I order the metal one, I don't mind him keeping this one to put it on the blue one. But um, so far, I don't want to hit this too much. I want to check the out. Uh... You see, I saw a video where when you actually, you know, hit the curve, um, it would actually do a grinding sound. So I don't know if maybe some of the gears inside there were loose, but um, I really can't, can't do much, but um, I'm really excited about trying being able to use this outside. Um, um, I'm really excited. Believe it or not, this is my first RC vehicle ever. I've always wanted one, but I've, you know, throughout the years, I've seen that uh, 
Uh, I don't think they used to be not waterproof and a lot of these upgraded motors for these uh, RCs are waterproof you can go through the mud and water and all that stuff although some waterproofing uh, it's recommended uh, and I'm gonna be learning all of that as I go I'm a rookie at this at this this is my first RC um, and I'm so far I'm really liking it uh, I really like I said I gotta go maybe uh, Monday or Tuesday See if I can find some real small washers for all these little screws and tighten up the body. Of course, I got a that 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 this link right here. The one that's broken, I might be able to fix it um, or glue you know glue it down. Or maybe I could just order the actual upgrade. Um, it comes with all these right here. There's four here, two and two, and these four as well. I'm sorry for not focusing right um, so these four right here these two right here and these two so all these links right there they come they do sell them in metal these are plastic as you can see already came broken but um, I don't know it shouldn't be a big deal maybe um, in the morning when I continue this video because right now it's dark it's too late to go outside but um, I might be able to take this out and eliminate it just for, for, just for a test run. But I'll definitely be able to ordering this. That I can afford. It's only like probably like ten dollars or so, and you do, you'll be able to. I could order these in metal, and then little by little I'll, I'll be upgrading the rest of it. Overall, just the look of it. I'm not an expert, like I said, at this. But um, tomorrow morning I'll be bringing it outside. And give it a little test run but um yeah let's see in the morning and take it for a ride i'm not gonna be riding this one this is my buddy when i when i have something that's mine is borrowed i i I'd rather not but um i'm gonna be changing this right here i did some water slide decals which i'll be speaking about it later on i got into them and um i can actually do some custom stickers for it from home and do some a little customizing with decals on this one and on that one she's gonna get a paint job she's gonna get a banner in the front some stickers in the back with this a whole bunch of things as I go so uh, I'll see you guys in the morning uh, so we could go for uh, for a test run see how how good this thing climbs like I said I'm not expecting much because it's it's a cheaper version but it is taking the uh, RC enthusiast by surprise because a lot of people has spent the time um, and money to upgrade these and they're they're not bad at all. So let's see uh, how this thing does in the morning. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, <laughs> I started recording this Saturday, but uh, yesterday we were celebrating uh, my youngest son um, birthday party. He turned 13, and um, I couldn't do the uh, you know right along but here we are and I uh, pretty much did all the uh, attachments for the most part I did a little little hooks right here and the bumper little corner lights it does come with some stickers so it looks amber but I'm like I had mentioned I'm gonna paint this so all these little uh, accessory accessories yeah are gonna come out with, you know door handle the mirror and all that stuff but uh, yeah guys I don't want to make this video any much longer it's my first RC crawler review uh kind of video and of course i'm going to be uploading videos as i upgrade this puppy um uh i gotta get together with my buddy that's a bit more of an expert on these like i said this is my first time working with these so far i like the way it looks uh i mean you can't go wrong it was a gift so it didn't cost me anything and i appreciate it. big shout out to my buddy johnny uh for this gift this is my first rc ever and uh, so it has uh, sentimental value. That's why I want to make it look nice and everything. Um, and then I've, you know, I'm just learning little by little. This is somewhat of a little cheaper uh, remote. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading that, upgrading wheels, tires. Of course, as I go, uh, hopefully you guys did see my uh, last video explaining why I was gone for so for so long. And you know, uh, financially wise, I'm a little, you know, restricted on that. But I'll as I go. Um, I'll be able to upgrade this this little by little. But anyway, let's get uh, to uh, the video riding this thing. 
I actually have a little somewhat of a little bit of woods back there which uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna go in there yet but eventually I'll probably do some trails back there and bring more videos of this uh, so let's get to it all right let's turn this on real quick that's on truck is on let's take it for a spin a little bit of speed although maybe I should uh, I should uh, charge the battery a little bit Get a little slow once it hits the grass, especially if I'm hitting the throttle and the curve at the same time. It's kind of stuck. Quick. I don't want my camera to fall. Oh, blooper as usual. Grasses kind of fall there. So, needs a little bit of help. Of course, this is just normal. Normal stuff. Battery's probably dying. Oh, blooper! Uh, all right. Well, some more speed, but I definitely know that I need to upgrade battery. The most part, go in the grass. Yep. Once I go in the. In the grass. Get stuck in the leaves. Well, I made it out. It's part of the uh, All right, guys. So overall, this is a pretty cool looking truck um, compared to like what I've seen over the years. Like if you go to Walmart, Toys R Us, although here in Toys R Us doesn't exist anymore, uh, Kmart, or any stores like that, that sell toys, you'll spend uh, 60, 70, 80, 100, a little over 100 dollars on an RC. It's not as um, how uh, I don't even know how to say this. It doesn't have like most of the components that this has. Uh, when it comes to the drivetrain, you know, the axles, you know, it's all-wheel drive, all that stuff. And then the upgrades. So, you go and spend, you know, whatever amount of money on one of some of these RCs from the stores. They're not waterproof. They're not meant for, you know, going in the grass like that or go off-road or whatever. So, me, because it didn't cost me a penny, I could spend money on it. And it's totally worth it. It was a gift, which, you know, I appreciate it from my buddy Johnny. I'm going to be able to paint the wheels and upgrade the parts little by little. Overall, even if I were to spend the $30, $36, it's not more than $40 on eBay, I think it is worth it. I like the fact that you can upgrade it. If you're going to buy this for your kids and you want to kind of like, you know, keep them outdoors, I think this would be a great idea. Um, 
Hey, the kids are into cars and stuff. Want to learn? Listen, you can teach them how to take this thing apart and upgrade the parts. Like I said, you keep them busy outdoors. Uh, me, uh, I asked my kids if they were willing to get into it. If I get them some, and they say yeah. So when you know, uh, it's uh, as soon as I can afford it, I'm gonna buy two more for my two sons and getting into it. Things, I mean. There's so many things you could do besides just playing with them and, and upgrading them. But the amount of time, uh, quality time you spend with your kids uh, building this, you know, I, I think it's, it's pretty cool. And I think this is a hobby not for boys, but I feel that girls could do this too. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to finish upgrading this to getting, I uh, uh, have to go visit my buddy, which was the one that got me into this hobby. He knows more about it. We'll get to see his collection and how he got started and all that good stuff but uh what i really like from this is the fact how they go hiking with these um and take their rc with them so you do get exercise you get to go outdoors and check out nature and take pictures and spend time quality time with your friends friends family and friends so that's the, the part that i like the most besides the fact that i am working with cars and toys and although i'm 40 years old i'm still big a big kid this i know there's uh, tons of big kids out there. So guys, I hope you like this first video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you guys will be able to witness how I upgrade this thing little by little. I don't know much about it, but I'm willing to uh, uh, share any info or links to other videos that I've seen. And uh, just let me think, you know, let me know in, uh, in the commentary, you know, in the comments below uh, what you guys think about the truck and uh, uh, paint wise I already chose a paint for it but um, I know this is not gonna be my last car that I buy to uh, customize and all that good stuff so guys thank you so much for all your support as usual to all my people that have been with me uh, since the beginning thank you so much for your support and I'll see you guys soon later Gator